Alright, we are now on part four. We are still trying to earn money to buy bombs. And, uh, yeah, once we get money for the bombs, obviously we're gonna go buy the bombs. Then, uh, we're gonna get the last two remaining hidden ruby areas that we can get. That should put us at a r right around a little over 60 rubies. Uh, yeah, good, we got 20 rubies now, finally. Uh, anyway, the two hidden rubies should put us right around 60 rubies, and we need 80 for the bow and arrow. Or for the arrows, anyway, we get the bow in the first dungeon. But anyway, yeah, this, that's pretty much what we're gonna do now. We need to get to a shop to buy the bombs, and after that we're gonna get the two hidden rubies, and then hopefully we won't have to farm for very much longer to get the arrows. Stupid pea hats. Well, there's one ruby, tanking it over to the fairy. Get off the tree! Off the tree! Whatever. <laughs> Offering at a time, great fairy. These guys are usually pretty good for money, too. I know that there are bombs in there. Get out of the way! Alright, good. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, one of them is in the northwest part of the map, and the other one is uh, right outside the lower left of the forest. We'll just take the warp here to get to the one in the mountains in the northwest right after we heal real, real quick. I guess that was kind of pointless since I only had half a heart missing, but whatever. I think I'll take the middle path to see where that puts us. Yeah, there, there can be a closer one, I'm sure. I'm trying to go for the one by the sixth dungeon, this one right here. And, uh, yeah, it's right up north from here just a little bit. We'll get that one, then we'll start heading back towards the forest and get the other one. And hopefully we won't have to do much more farming before we get enough money for the arrows. Good news though, once we buy the arrows, we're done farming and everything though. We can start doing the dungeons after that. Sure thing. Yeah, like I said, we're going to start heading towards the forest now. I think we'll just hike there. It'd probably be quicker, since it's not that far from where we're at anyway. be better than taking a lot of random orbs and being further away from it. All we really got to do is go through the graveyard, and then we're pretty much there. Uh, yeah. Just go south a little bit, and uh, it's right there. We haven't been able to get much money so far yet, which I hope that changes as we begin farming for it. Who knows, though, we may get our dumb luck that we've had since we started farming with Octorox for bombs. Go up and around. It would be pointless to try to go into the... It's a secret to everybody area. Heal up real quick. And it's down to the left. Gotta take the very bottom path. Just gonna tank it, I don't care. Well, maybe he'll come out of there. Let's wait a second. Yeah, whatever, let's tank it. And it's on the next screen over. Stupid moblin. Right up here. I'm pretty sure it's another 30 ruby one. Yep. So we have to earn 18 rubies. Once we get 18 rupees, we will uh, be able to buy the arrows and finally be at the last dungeon. 
think I'm gonna heal up at the fairy fountain and probably end this part. Almost there. I'll burn him real quick. Alright, that was fun. And well, that's it for part four.